Hello, welcome. This is Ion Port, and this program is proudly brought to you by Goyle Company Limited, Serene Insurance, Ghana Revenue Authority, and the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority. Our media partner is the Business and Financial Times. In this week's edition, we are discussing how to promote trade um, out of individual African countries like Ghana, Benin, Togo, Nigeria, um, to other countries in the continent and even outside of the continent. Before we bring you that discussion, security agencies working in the Tema port have honored departed officers during the Remembrance Day event. Please take a look at what transpired. Security agencies operating in the port of Tema Enclave have held a parade to mark the Remembrance Day on 11th November 2020. The Remembrance Day is set aside globally by Commonwealth states to commemorate fallen soldiers who have died in the line of duty since the First World War. This occasion has also been adopted by various security agencies within and around Ghana's port enclave to remember and recognize past security personnel and staff of the various security organizations who have died while performing their duties. Participating institutions in the memorial parade included the Ghana Ports and Harbors Security Department, Fire and Safety Department, the Ghana Navy, the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority, and the Ghana Immigration Service. The solemn ceremony also saw key members of the various institutions in the port, such as National Security, the Ghana Maritime Authority, the Marine Police Department of the Ghana Police Service, Ghana Shippers Authority, the Joint Association of Port Transport Union, among others. Present at the ceremony was the Director General of GPHA, Michael Luguje, the Director of Tema Port, Sandro Poku, and the Director of the Port of Keta, Dr. Alexander Dusay. The Director General of the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, Michael Luguje, urged the staff and officers to draw inspiration from the memorial to foster harmony and determination to leave a lasting positive impact in their various institutions towards a better Ghana. As a corporate entity, we are confronted by a number of vices that negatively affect our performance and productivity. One sure way of making the sacrifices of our heroes meaningful is to endear ourselves to work together to achieve the mission of the organization. The Tema Port Security Manager, Kenal William Kwabia, expressed gratitude to all security personnel who risk their lives within the port community to protect the nation's interest. Together with colleagues, friends, neighbors, veterans, groups, and entire communities, we can ensure that the sacrifices made by our fallen heroes never go unappreciated and that their memories are never forgotten. Now back to the main discussion of the week, which is promoting trade beyond individual borders of African nations. Um, using Ghana and Kenya as case studies, we engaged Kenya's High Commissioner to Ghana, who opened up on how he thinks that can be done. Please take a listen. Kenya's High Commissioner to Ghana, His Excellency Eliphas Mugendi Barin, has called for interinstitutional collaborations among private sector groups in African countries that would create the synergy necessary to diversify product range to meet international demand. Speaking on Iron Port, the Kenyan High Commissioner to Ghana explained that because the various countries are endowed differently in terms of resource, it is important for private sector groups in African countries to be in close cooperation with their counterparts in other countries to enjoy the full benefits of a liberated market. You have this product there and we have the products that will be able to feed into this so that you are not having everything produced in one location because uh, you know you may not have certain products in this. So including if it is a motor vehicle for example there are certain things that may not be produced here and you can collaborate depending on where you have the the, the comparative advantage, but pulled together. He said the African continental free trade area will break away the colonial economic boundaries that have divided Africa for so long and give every African state premium access to each other for trade and this needs to be fully taken advantage of. I'm not sure whether we have harnessed to the level that was required and we should be able to have Kenyans or any citizens from the continent working with the people from those countries to put in resources 
enough resources to be able to do, a, I would say, a factory that will come up with globally competitive products that everybody will be looking at. Eliphaz Barron also urged government to organize adequate capacity building programs that seek to enhance the quality standard of product ahead of the commencement of the Continental Free Trade Agreement. One of the things that we need to do is uh, we need to have programs that will be able to reach out to the producers, be able to do some training so that uh, we are working on uh, the products, we're working on standards, we're working on quality, because somewhere along the way we need to really build capacity of the producers. And I think this is where the, the, the institutions come into play. He also urged government to properly organize small-scale companies and provide them with useful incentives as a means to boost their capacities to produce in large quantities. Because a lot of producers out there, they are really producing in a very, very small scale. Mm -hmm. So unless you, we help them to get organized, to organize themselves, to be able to put enough commodity together. And how do we it, do that though? Part of it is actually organization. So we need, uh, in our own country, we have uh, cooperatives. Okay. And uh, every member really is a cooperative. The Kenyan diplomat said in his country's economic agenda, it has identified four special areas to invest in and develop, which would serve as a springboard to meet its target of becoming a substantial middle-income country in the world by 2030. He also revealed that the government of Kenya has put in place a policy that requires 30 to 40 percent of procurement by public institutions to be locally sourced. So, so that in itself is an encouragement to the industry. It's a deliberate policy, a deliberate deliberate by, the policy by the government that on all procurement, particularly on goods that are available in the country, 30 to 40 percent must be Kenyan produced. This initiative, according to Eliphaz Mogendi, should be adopted and even bettered by African countries as it would go a long way to promote private sector confidence in the local market, create jobs, and generate increased revenues for the state. Lamenting the historical incidents of African goods being often traded in primary form, Kenya's High Commissioner to Ghana expressed his keen desire on value addition of African products and outlined its accompanying benefits. We have been producers of coffee, tea, uh, and many other products, wood and timber, uh, scrap metal, and many other things. But what we have been doing is a lot of it has actually been living in primary form including uh, cotton. So what we are now doing is to encourage the private sector, including investment, to come into the country and begin to add value to that. He said conversations between academia and industry should be strengthened in order to narrow skill development towards areas of need in industry. Eliphaz Barron expressed much optimism for the African continental free trade area and urged all non-ratifying countries to expedite processes and ratify before the January 1st implementation date. Trade will commence. And uh, of course, I would really urge that uh, it really, if we believe in ourselves and uh, the African that we are, and if Africa will be built by the Africans themselves, uh, it would be a good thing that every member really uh, joins this and ratifies so that we can move process. He said the AFTA is one of the fastest negotiated agreements of such magnitude but expressed a word of caution to implementers to properly iron out the rule of origin component for success to be achieved. Officials are already having conversation and some of the critical ones are the customs just to make sure that they are in sync and the customs in one border to the in the other border, they speak the same language, they understand the document and their business is to facilitate. That uh, goods coming from one country to the next will not attract any duty yeah. and they should be facilitated. So we, do, we should not expect the NTBs whereby people are held and duly. The Kenyan High Commissioner to Ghana encouraged increased supply of investment into African airlines such as Kenyan Airways so as to serve inter-African trade. I think uh, is an area that the African continent needs to look into and, and actually have a conversation as to whether we need an airline in every country or we can resource and plug in and build uh, big airlines that will be competitive and will be able to serve 
the continent better. He revealed that Kenya is also reviving its shipping line sector so it can complement infrastructure development made at the port of Mombasa in Kenya. Eliphaz Barron said standard gauge rail lines have been heavily invested into by Kenya and this intervention has significantly facilitated trade in the country as well as transit destinations in the area. He also touted customs interventions made by the Kenyan authorities which have reduced bureaucracies in the port space in Mombasa and transit borders. His Excellency Eliphas Barren said, while many trade facilitation interventions in Kenya have caused a few job losses, it has made doing business more efficient, reduced human congestion at the port environment, drastically reduced road accidents and opened up new avenues for employment. And of course, you have cut a lot of uh, people from the port. Okay. In fact, nowadays, uh, for you to go to the port, really, uh, initially you find everybody on trucks everywhere. But also, the important thing is that uh, it has also reduced the damage to the road infrastructure. Mm, of yeah. course, um, you know, those that had invested in uh, trucks and otherwise... Yeah, uh, money will be lost and some jobs will also be Some jobs have sacrificed. actually, yes, some have been sacrificed. But we're saying, uh, first of all, uh, we don't have the road carnage that we used to have. A lot of accidents and trucks and... I am Port returns shortly after this break. Every now and again, Goyle makes good things happen. This time, Goyle has introduced Super XP Run 95, a higher grade fuel loaded with additives and yet sold at the same price as normal fuel. Goyle Super XP Run 95 enhances engine performance like never before. It maintains the engine by keeping it clean from carbon deposits. Goyle Super XP Run 95 is designed to burn slowly and thus improves fuel economy, making you save money after several kilometers. Goyle Super XP Run 95 gives you a smooth driving experience that is less vibrations. Fill up with Goyle Super XP Run 95. Now, there's no need to pay more for any higher grade fuel. Goyle has that sorted. Goyle, good energy. Electricity, electricity, pay your taxes. Yeah. Our taxes, our future. Because you see, without our taxes, we wouldn't have good roads, good schools, better hospitals, street lights, and other very important social amenities. When we pay our taxes, we give our children free and quality education. Tell that my money too small. Why should I pay my tax? Look, small. Sell it It doesn't matter how small or big your business or income is. You still have to pay your taxes. The little taxes from each and every one of us, when put together, could give your community clean water. Or that deprived school with tables and chairs. Please pay your taxes. It is your responsibility. It is your civic duty. It is the law. Oh, how are you? Hi, Yvonne. A few words, please. Everyone is talking about the fire at your production house last week. How are you holding up? Has production stalled? <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all. My crew and everyone on my set is perfectly fine because I insure with serene insurance. As a matter of fact, I've had all my equipment replaced, including the vehicles that were affected. My workers have been sorted out. Even my production downtime has been covered, so it's all good. I have a meeting to attend to, so I have to get going. Sorry about that. Which insurance company did you mention? Serene Insurance, the new face of insurance, a member of First Sky Group. So, coronavirus, Yarianu, eh, Yaria is signed pa. So, be ready. Master of power goes so, and master of means goes so. Uts minya, Yarianu be. O Kadi ni Bahani Unaka, or Yahila Koji, or he banya do, O Baulo, O Go Bahun, O Bachini, O Jam Bawahi, O Bana Sen Kaka, Melk Mamusun Chon, Melk Menu near Nihi. She told me that the germ of the germ was strong and strong. Coronavirus infection, the symptoms can range from mild, one of it being asymptomatic. Asymptomatic just means that you may not have any symptoms at all, and the disease process can gradually worsen to be a severe form, the severest being ultimately death. We are expected to sanitize our hands when our hands are not visibly soiled or you can't really see death on your hands 
If you can see debts on your hands, the best thing to do is to wash your hands with soap and the running water. If you're using any of the cloth face masks, always make sure you have a rubber bag ready to receive it when you remove it or you have a bowl of warm soapy water in which you can place the mask and wash. Wash your mask, dry in the hot sun for at least 5 hours and apply heat by way of ironing. Utiliser les ports de Tema et de Takoradi, c'est avoir un traitement rapide et sécurisé de vos marchandises diverses en conteneurs, en sacs ou en vrac, ainsi que tous vos véhicules en transit. Le Ghana a construit un parking bien pavé pour tous les véhicules en transit. Une nouvelle gare frigorifique pour le stockage de la marchandise congelée en transit. Avec un nouveau centre de traitement de données construit et la mise en œuvre efficace d'un guichet unique national qui permet aux données d'être accessibles par tous les intervenants, le traitement des dossiers dans les ports du Ghana est maintenant efficace et plus efficient. Utiliser les ports du Ghana, c'est profiter des systèmes de portes électroniques et d'exploitation des terminaux ainsi que de la réservation des navires en ligne, entraînant ainsi un parc de camions fiable pour un acheminement de vos marchandises dans les brefs délais avec un suivi satellitaire jusqu'à nos frontières. Les femmes, à vous les honneurs Les ports de Théma et de Takoradi célèbrent la femme. Que les bienfaits de cette célébration apportent plus de bénédictions. Let's also look at some international port and maritime news happening around the globe. Chinese rescue and salvage company Lian Yu Gang Dali Underwater Engineering has won a contract to remove the stand section of the Wakashio Balka from a reef off Mauritius coast. According to the owner of the ill-fated Balka Nagashiki Shipping Company, the salvage firm is currently mobilizing assets and equipment and is scheduled to start work on the removal operation in late December and work is expected to complete in the spring of 2021. It will be recalled that the Japanese Cape Size Balka ran aground on a reef off Mauritius on 25th July and the vessel broke apart on August 15, causing a major fuel spill. Around 1,000 tons of oil are estimated to have leaked from the wreck in what is considered the worst oil spill in the history of Mauritius. On 7th November 2020, Drad Global confirmed an attack on the chemical product tanker Tom Alexandra, operated by Danish shipping company Tom. According to Drad Global, the incident saw pirates boarding the 56,643 cubic meters Tom Alexandra some 162 nautical miles south of Kotonou Benin while in transit from Lome Togo in the Gulf of Guinea. Following anti-piracy drills, all crew comprised of 20 Filipinos and one Montenegrin reached the citadel and have been reported safe. In a related development, less than 24 hours following the boarding of Tom Alexandra, the oil tanker Wesley, controlled by UK's Union Maritime, was also targeted by pirates in a separate incident off the coast of West Africa. Dried Global reported that the Marshall Islands flagged tanker, MT Wesley, was approached while underway 180 nautical miles south-southwest of Lagos, Nigeria. The master of Wesley undertook all security measures and all the crew took shelter in the citadel. Armed guards on board the 1995 built tanker fired three shots at the speedboat, after which the pirates aborted the approach. The vessel and the seafarers on board are reported safe, and the tanker is continuing on its next port of call. Shipbuilder SWS, part of China State Shipbuilding Corporation, has started a dry dock works for the first cruise ship ordered by CSSC. Carnival Cruise Shipping Limited, a joint venture between CSSC and cruise company Carnival Corporation. The new unit, which is expected to be delivered in 2023, will accommodate about 4,250 passengers in addition to 1,400 crew members. It will be the first cruise ship built in China for the Chinese market. The United Nations Conference on Trade and Development has said in a new report that global maritime trade will plunge 
in 2020 due to the unprecedented disruption caused by COVID-19. The report, entitled The Review of Maritime Transport 2020, warns that new waves of the pandemic that further disrupt supply chains and economies might cause a steeper decline in the short term. Antad said the sector will need to brace itself for change, adapt and ensure it is well prepared to enter the post-COVID-19 pandemic world. Every now and again, Goyle makes good things happen. This time, Goyle has introduced Super XP Run 95, a higher grade fuel loaded with additives and yet sold at the same price as normal fuel. Goyle Super XP Run 95 enhances engine performance like never before. It maintains the engine by keeping it clean from carbon deposits. Goyle Super XP Run 95 is designed to burn slowly and thus improves fuel economy, making you save money after several kilometers. Goyle Super XP Run 95 gives you a smooth driving experience that is less vibrations. Fill up with Goyle Super XP Run 95. Now there's no need to pay more for any higher grade fuel. Goyle has that sorted. Goyle, good energy. Electricity, electricity, pay your taxes. Yeah. Our taxes, our future. Because you see, without our taxes, we wouldn't have good roads, good schools, better hospitals, street lights, and other very important social amenities. When we pay our taxes, we give our children free and quality education. Tell that my money too small. Why should I pay my tax? Look, small. Salifu, it doesn't matter how small or big your business or income is. You still have to pay your taxes. The little taxes from each and every one of us, when put together, could give your community clean water. Or that deprived school with tables and chairs. Please pay your taxes. It is your responsibility. It is your civic duty. It is the law. Oh, how are you? Hi, Yvonne. A few words, please. Everyone is talking about the fire at your production house last week. How are you holding up? Has production stalled? <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all. My crew and everyone on my set is perfectly fine because I insure with serene insurance. As a matter of fact, I've had all my equipment replaced, including the vehicles that were affected. My workers have been sorted out. Even my production downtime has been covered, so it's all good. I have a meeting to attend to, so I have to get going. Sorry about that. Which insurance company did you mention? Serene Insurance, the new face of insurance, a member of First Sky Group. So, coronavirus, Yarian, Yaria, a sign pa. So, be a bee, Master or Power Goose, so a Master or Wings Goose, so a good to me, Yarian, be. O Cadini Bahani, O Naka, O Yahila Koji, O Hebanya Do, O Baulo, O Go Bahun. Obachini, eh o jamba wo he. Oba na sen kaka. Mekme musun chon. Mekme nu ni eni he. Si tu maboni nke, je mo fe mo ba chon o kaji ne eko. Coronavirus infection, the symptoms can range from mild, one of it being asymptomatic. Asymptomatic just means that you may not have any symptoms at all, and the disease process can gradually worsen to be a severe form. The severest being ultimately death. We are expected to sanitize our hands when our hands are not visibly soiled or you can't really see death on your hands. If you can see death on your hands, the best thing to do is to wash your hands with soap and the running water. If you're using any of the cloth face masks, always make sure you have a rubber bag ready to receive it when you remove it or you have a bowl of warm soapy water in which you can place the mask and wash. Wash your mask, dry in the hot sun for at least five hours and apply heat by way of ironing. Now it's time for the schedule of vessels birthed in the port, those at Anchorage and those expected in the coming weeks, plus the Bank of Ghana action rates, which you need to know to clear your cargo with.
Here are some comments from viewers of the program. Sheikh Labaram says, Can the Kenya High Commissioner to Ghana tell us some of the challenges facing their transit trade? Hello, Sheikh. The High Commissioner mentioned that the use of railways for the cutting of transit goods has posed some challenges to some individuals and companies who have invested in tracking services by road. However, he said largely the rail intervention has posed far more benefits to the people of Kenya and its transit community. Sheikh Labran asked again, is Mombasa port operating passenger ship? If yes, how effective is it? Sheikh, the Kenya High Commissioner to Ghana says, Passenger shipping industry is inactive in Kenya, but the government is keen on attracting investment in that area in efforts to transform Mombasa as a tourism hub. That's all for this edition of Iron Port. Thank you for watching.